Halo C, now it's Halo C, it's Halo C, now with Zack and Michelle. Halo C, now it's Halo C, it's Halo C, now! Ha. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Ha. Well, that was one piss break too long. <laughs> one night and done. <laughs> and then the whole house is done. Well, I guess it's go time. It's time to get on the boat. Meine Stadt, mein Bezirk, mein Viertel, meine Gegend, meine Straße, mein Zuhause, mein Vlog. Meine Gedanken, mein Herz, mein Leben, meine Welt reicht vom ersten bis zum 16. Stock. Alright. Now it's time to frickin' sail away. No more nonsense from this island anymore. And it's time to get back to the headquarters. Back home, wherever it might be. But there's only one path leading us. Alright, Michelle, it's time to set sail and get that anchor out of here. Storm. We don't have an anchor. Huh. I hope we'll be fine here. Sit right back, then you hear a tale, a tale of a fateful trip that started. Oh man, when are we gonna get there? We don't even know where we're going. It's just wait. Huh. Oh well, just remind me when it's night time. Ugh. Okay, Zach, give me a pillow. Uh, Storm. We didn't bring Zack with us. Who are you even talking to? What do you mean? We brought Zack. Look, he's right there. What's up everybody? There's a storm from Storm and Blackbird once again with the first anniversary of Halo Scene now. Where we showcase Halo Custom Edition news, project progresses uh, from sources like Halo Maps, Open Carnage, and for God's sake, even though we're on water, I might as well heat the whole place up by saying, MORABACITY! Anyhow, so, uh, right, so this is the first anniversary actually, so it's been a whole year of Halo Custom Edition now. In a full name and sense. And I'd like to thank all of you for accepting the ride as I started out with no plan as to go further with it. But it was a it was a great idea, isn't it? Because uh -huh, totally it would it was useful because CH3 would not be around, so let's try a new one. So the uh, basically it will see now is it was the answer to Is SPV going to continue with CE3? Well this is the uh, closest thing you can get. But anyhow, uh, once again, thanks to all, all the views, all the subscriptions that uh, we've gained from this series. It was a very wonderful delight seeing the analytics go skyrocketing on these videos. And I hope to continue this trend on. And just a heads up, the next Halo C now in August will happen very later. Because uh, we'll still be in Gamescom, and uh, the days afterwards it would still be on the road, so to speak. So without further ado, we have our submitted projects first. So let's get onto it with another sneak preview of Operation Perch Point. You and Ramsey find another way out. Radio in if you see anything. I know. Hey, you know what I'd like to hear about this? Hey, Cortez, got a surprise for you. 
If you're going to make me drink tap water again, I'm going to make sure that your head goes inside that toilet bowl that I shot on last night. So, uh, what is it? You remember those red lights? Well, guess what room has nothing but red? Or what looks like mine? Where did you get the idea I'd like red lighting? Or red rooms? You're gonna love this. And yet, I have never seen this much red in my life. Well, you'll know my billing address from now on then. <laughs> Fucking hilarious. Dead end. Crewman, Lamar. We are in a hallway after the second room. Where are we going? Hmm, another node. Crewman here. I see only two ways down. A teleporter node through the teleporter system, and a jump down the hole. The node is disabled. Then I hope you land on your feet. Crewman out. Ah, <sighs> never dull moment, right? Fuck! <laughs> Thank God for armor lock. Come on, Rook. Yeah, sure. I'm moving. Pussy. Oh, my fucking head. God damn. Ugh. All right, I'm coming. Where's my gun? God damn it! Toss a frag in there and charge in. We're pinned down here. And Lamar, we have a big problem on our hands. A big problem, huh? That doesn't sound good. Yeah. Let's work our way out. Oh yes, I'm voice acting again, and this time as a character that you might have been familiar with in past machinimas. This time I'm going by the name of Cortez. If you want to learn more about all these new characters, go into the forum link in the description below. Another suggested proposal from Matthew Dratt himself. He will announce a C3 game night. It'll happen on a Sunday, August 27th at 12 p.m. Also, it will feature the C3 stages, which you've seen in last year's C3. Last year's C3, God, that takes a that took a lot of time. And uh, some of the best of the multiplayer section from C3 Live, also from last year, or maybe all of the years. Who knows what uh, Matt has planned, but uh, more info will will be there once it gets closer to that date. I'm hope I'm super excited to do that, of course. Too bad I'm not gonna be there, thanks to Cologne and and Gamescom and stuff. Mega Sean has shown off some stuff he did on a little secret project he has had for a while. Halo 2 open source tag set Redux. It basically is the Halo 2 tag set for CE but he is doing nice shaders for it, so it will look better than most of the things you've seen in Custom Edition. Well, that's the closest we can go with 
the Halo 2 single player project. Thanks, EMT. Benji Mod, the man, the myth, the la baguette, has now continued on away from Halo Custom Edition and went into Minecraft and went back into Halo Custom Edition. Here we go. We have Beaver Creek. If you haven't known, Benji Mod is the guy who made Battlecraft. He has teased us with an image of Beavercraft. This is actually in Halo Custom Edition, as he has so said. Who knows how uh, legit that is, but... Damn, this is a nice remake. It is very similar to the one he made before though, but I still can't wait for it. Deck Down the Extermination got its sixth update in a row in Halo Custom Edition now, where Matt has uh, informed me personally that, indeed, it is more than half done. And, uh, well, uh, according to uh, whatever this program says, it's certainly uh, hindering what's half made. And as mentioned from the last Halo Seed, now Giraffe has updated the dev cheats. It now includes four more things, such as toggle speed boost, fling, toggle no clip, and of course, boosting. A lot of these things will certainly give you a fun ride. So if you're still interested in dev cheats and seeing if they still work in multiplayer play where you're trying to troll other players but it's not allowed because it requires a lot of other things such as a freaking Archon, well, you can still try it and uh, have fun using it for exploration and stuff. Emmanuel CD returns with Hexzone, a map he has started with many years ago but he has finally returned to it once again. This map is uh, an entire map filled with hexagons and uh, a couple of other things such as Halo CE Anniversary Weapons. It will be released maybe sometime and uh, I'll just disclose that for now. Just enjoy the teaser that Emmanuel CD has brought up as a video. It's been a while but we finally have another update on New Mombasa, which is a map I still want to play and I still haven't. Because I'm that, uh, I have a very, very safe desire to play it on the last version. But that won't happen, at least for a long while. Dead Hamster is now moving to Las Vegas, and he won't have a PC for quite a long time, for at least six, seven months. So don't expect any new things from the Mombasa in that time. And he has estimated in fr a freaking release date. And that's gonna be July 9, 2018, so actually sooner than SPV 3 Part 2. Oh, we'll get to that. Moses updated the refined campaign again. That campaign that we last time said was a perfect port of Halo 1. Well, we lied! Now it is a perfect port of the Halo 1 campaign to custom edition. Probably. Let's hope there won't be more updates. Go check it out now, and if you had the old version, go check out this one. They say Jesus is not perfect, but Jesus says so. So nothing is perfect but Jesus. Oh god, what did my mind go on to? Wait, cut to get released or what? Yep. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. The roast of the century. Maya version 2018 has been released! This would be very useful for Halo C modders if there were actually tools for Maya for Halo C. Chimera will soon be updated. Chimera is basically a mod that does stuff, but most people will probably be familiar by now with its new interpolation. Basically, what it does, normally when you walk around in CE, your camera goes at 60 FPS or higher if your computer can take that and if you have your settings like that. But you'll notice a weird stutteriness to all the movement in the game. Like when you walk alongside someone, they'll be just like jittering along back and forth. That's because the game only renders its animations and movement at 30 FPS, but Chimera Interpolation fixes that to a varying degree based on what setting you put it on. So you can make Halo C look like Halo MCC with fully interpolated 60 FPS or if you have like a freaking 240 Hz monitor, 240, 240 FPS, 
It, it could do anything except first-person interpolation right now. Uh, that's being worked on by someone else than 002, so please don't go and ask him for it. In other news, the mod also fixes controllers for multiplayer on servers that have Chimera, so you can walk slower and stuff. Is this what it feels like without Chimera? Pretty much. It would with Chimera it would be that, but smoother. And now it's time to move out of Halo Maps and check out everything else. So here's some public information for Big Ass Version 3. So you've probably heard about certain armor abilities for Big Ass Version 3 now. It has many different kinds of them, such like the one right here, Health Regen from Halo 3, as well as a Frickin' original one. Altus has developed a frickin' drone. Or, as it's named by Altus, a baby falcon. Or as I would like to call it, a pod. This is very similar to one in, in Nier Automata. But then, this thing... Actually, that will be disclosed for now. Just expect that armor abilities will come out here and there. And you'll just, uh... You'll have more gameplay options on Big Ass from now on. So, we're going to fill you up with your Halo Cast Edition game night needs with one from Gay Boys from Outer Spin. Oh, oh uh, let's disclose that as well, because apparently their server was deactivated as well as the account controlling the server from Elite Game Servers. There is, um, this is uh, an odd thing to happen. I always enjoyed announcing their game nights because it happens like in between the ones I announce on Discord as you might see in live streams. And because it might be a really good filler for those who are still interested in Halo Cast Edition game nights, but now they're not there anymore. And I have no clue what to say here other than there are many possible reasons as to why their account was removed. One thing is because the the server admin Gijs from the Netherlands was still angry that Germans annexed the Netherlands like a couple million years ago. This is why we freed you after that! And the other reason could be because there, the word gay was on the server and that could have been an offensive word on the list, that's, that's something. Many things, many confusing things, but I just wish the servers and the accounts for gay bros from outer space come back. Come on, they didn't do anything wrong, right? I think... Maybe? Ah, who knows, you got my support. So, for the last few videos you might have heard me using some very strange sound effects in the videos wherever I shoot and kill someone. That, uh, well, those aren't sound effects, those are actually in the game. Those are optic metal packs and sounds. Well, actually, there are no medals from Crash Bandicoot, of course, but... Here is the explanation. When you hit someone, you get a Wamba Fruit Collect sound effect. And when you kill someone, you get the 1-Up Life sound effect from Crash Bandicoot. Which is pretty insane for me. Uh, see what I did there? Insane, insane, and You can get that metal pack with the sounds as well in the link in the description. Uh, the one that's called Reachacoot is the one with Halo Reach medals and custom uh, voices from Jeff Steitzer that are just pretty much higher pitched so that he sounds like a freaking bandicoot. Otherwise, you can also get the other one that's actually the official one from uh, Deviant, which is just only the Crash Bandicoot sounds and nothing else. So, enjoy it if you want to have it. Another big comeback to the Halo Cast Edition community. I guess I'll just uh, strike out the big there. It's Alterus! My god, he has finally come back from his uh, hiatus of what sorts. He has returned with more shiny things. And of course, a uh, certain map you're probably familiar with that uh, I certainly did not pose as legit CMT. <laughs> oh, sure, uh, sure people knew it was uh, sarcasm all and true, but yep, uh, Alters has returned, whatever he will be doing. I suspect CMT stuff, but who knows. There could be a lot of things done for him. Or like trolling me! Alright guys, this looks quite familiar to you, and yes it is. This is the SPV3 release trailer. And I'm 
basically not going to tell you that this thing exists. I'm pretty sure you've all seen this already, so I don't even want to bother with it. Or maybe even every other YouTuber has told you about it, I just don't know about it myself. So I'll just do this a bit different. So here is Storm from Storm and Blackbird's release trailer breakdown of SPV3. So first of all, we need to skip all of this because none of this is important to us right now. What is important is this here. So we can see that there's a lot of information here, but it's not complete. Let me just screw in the actual real secret of information there we go yep this is uh this is the true uh, release trailer right here i mean yeah you can trust me on this banter and now time for the top five halo cast edition videos from july and uh hmm hmm oh man we uh forgot to uh get all of our computers and monitors this is going to be uh, strange to do uh, ah I know where to watch videos I got it uh, where's the camera going so let's start off with our list but first we'll have an honorable mention first of all this is Latexi you probably heard of him, you probably uh, knew how he looks like. He is a very attractive fella from the Finlands, and he is about to explain to you what a claw cam is in Halo Custom Edition, which is basically a method where you put your thumbs on your thumbsticks and never release them. I gotta say, uh, it's it's such a joy to watch Latexi actually play with it and still play with the uh, rock keep on rocking so enjoy that video he is a uh, he's a talent of his own and another honorable mention from freaking stuffy junk him explaining halo custom editions multiplayer in a nutshell i think i can play it in full it's pretty hilarious Okay, now we go into the top five. So number five, we have Productions Jazz Hands with his video on how to suck at firefight, which is a self-exploratory title right there. He is basically playing Halo Custom Edition after a long period of hiatus from himself, and he's gonna go on firefight airlock. Enjoy what he has to say about that. Doom Pig 444. This is a sound test to preload the sounds. Oh, hello Microsoft Sam, how are you today? Game over. Game over? I haven't even started yet. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, I knew that would happen. Alright, let's do this. I think I remember how to play. Oh god! Number four, we have Toxic Gamer 4900. Very close to Gonza's number, actually. Oh, spoiler alert. Um, he has Halo Custom Edition. Actually, it's called Halo CE Custom Edition Episode 1, very strange title, but anyways, he's going to comment on an SPV2 mission on the Truth and Reconciliation and how he's faring there. He has a long video and it's, it's actually edited, and you can probably find some similarities to it to uh, my video, so it's, it's gotta be awesome. Uh, let's give an example here. I'll see Jack with my merch different, pretty much name. Oh, nice shot. Nice shot. Nice shot. Number three we have from Atomic with Halo C Probing Day. An actual Halo Constellation machinima that does not look like a freaking flipbook. So, we have a short scene from Invader Zim 
Now into Ayla Cast Edition. This is this is awesome. Right. Look, Sam, we have some pummeling to do, and uh, now hurry up. All right. This bothersome dirt child was captured trying to infiltrate my base. I've suspended him in a variable time stasis field. I need it myself. Does it not amaze you? You'll never get away with this, Sim. I'm going to expose you for the horrible alien medicine you are and scoop your insides out. <laughs> Number two, and uh, just as I said before, he will appear again. Here's La Taxi with Mystery Signal Volume 2. Another lovely montage of La Taxi, but unlike other montages, this thing actually is very stylish, very original, and not so heavily edited with freaking special effects. It's just La Taxi camping on Overshield the whole game. Nah, that's a joke. Enjoy the video. And that number one, and I think I've become biased of Gonza now, but here is his, his fun page number 15. Oh uh, god, I think, uh, I think someone has to rival him at this point. Let's do it. Alerta por subnormal! It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Phew, that actually was very exhausting. Considering that we have to balance ourselves on this floating boat and not fall down. Okay, I'm in my neck. But anyways, thanks Michelle for having your ass as a television for once. I feel fine here. He wears a tie as money! The best in the nation, he'll beat you all! at pool and playing playstation but they refuse to see the massive dream then they just silly police come on come on let's get it on halo c now it's halo c it's halo c now include guest here halo c now it's halo c it's halo c now Uh, I do need something that can sell and a couple of people to subscribe to PC Division.